Okay, today I'm going to talk about an ordeal that every exchange student has to go through. Pre-departure safety forms. Now, don't get me wrong, safety is no laughing matter. Actually, it's a matter of life and death. So we all have to take it very seriously. That being said, the things that we have to put on our safety forms are pretty hilarious. This is how it works. We have this safety form online that we have to fill out. And I'm just going to give you a bit of definitions. A hazard is an activity that can potentially cause you harm. A risk is the harms associated with said activity. And mitigation techniques, you guessed it. What are you going to do about it? This video took me forever to film and I wish that I could have filmed it earlier when my sense of torture and amazement was still fresh in my head. But this will have to do. In the following video, I will endeavor to recreate what was happening in my head while I was filling out my safety form. Enjoy! The risk associated with public transportation? Well, I guess I can get stuck in the subway door. Or get run over by a train. Hmm. French insects. Should I seriously be worried? Oh, I know. French mosquitoes are among the deadliest of all mosquitoes in the world. <coughs> Alright, I made that one up. But realistically speaking, what 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 are my risks? Also on the list of hazards is person-to-person -person contact. I'll leave you with that to ponder at for the rest of your day. You know, there's something that I learned in my existentialism class. Human existence is never secure. Okay, I'll admit, if this is your first time traveling abroad or if you're not used to interacting with different cultures, a safety form like this is pretty nice and reassuring to have. But um, I consider myself a third culture kid and I do travel a lot, so a lot of this just looks kind of silly to me. But either way, you have to fill it out. I'm pretty sure your institution has its own equivalents and just just do it. It just fascinates me that something that is usually so mundane and insi insignificant in your own life can suddenly become so much more, infinitely more dangerous when you're traveling abroad. Moving on to a less depressing topic. I got myself a phrase book. It's quite exciting because I've never used a phrase book in my entire life because I never felt the need to, but I saw this at Value Village, so I just told myself why not, it was like two dollars. <laughs> and uh, it looks kind of dated, and it is, it's, it's actually from the 80s, which means it's old. The pronunciation guide kind of cracked me up because that's actually how you say French words with a massive English accent, like musée or uh, ohm, draw. <laughs> it's uh, interesting. This phrase book is actually amazingly comprehensive. I mean, there are things on the food and drink list here that I would never consider eating, like sea lampreys or Pheasants, or rabbits, or brains. <sighs> yeah. No matter how good your French is, never consider yourself to be above the level of phrase books. They're so, so useful. You find so many amazing things in them. Also, look at this. Um, can't find it. Oh. Look at the cute illustrations of road signs. They're all hand-drawn. Adorable, right? Yeah, this is all I'm going to say for this video, I guess. Good luck on your safety forms if you haven't finished them already. And I'll see you next time.